Hannah Yee with Big County Preps BCP 360 sitting here with Tampa Catholic running back Trevor Register. So you're going into your junior season. Yes, ma'am. Now, well, what did you get to accomplish the last two years at Tampa Catholic? I originally came from Riverview High School and I transferred to Tampa Catholic and last year I got a lot accomplished and I'm going to have a way better year this year, but I thank God for how he's done. Now, speaking of transferring from Riverview to Tampa Catholic, What's the difference between the two football programs? Um, one focus more on you and your problems, and one, they try, but it's kind of hard with the environment. So. Okay. So were you under Coach Gifford at Riverview? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so now what's – how is the environment different at Tampa Catholic from coming from a public school to a private school? It's a huge difference. You got more people, you're competing every time you step on the field, and you don't have that position problems all the time. At the private school? At the private school. Okay, so now what is it that you want to accomplish the next two years? To be the best running back. The next year, the best running back in Hillsborough County, then after that, the best running back in the state of Florida. Okay, so now what is it that you've got to do during the off season in order to make yourself become a better running back and accomplish that goal of being the best running back in the county? Just focus on the little stuff as well as the big stuff, but holding on to the football, catching football in the backfield, and footwork and all of that. Speed. Yeah, speed. Now, have showcases and combines during the offseason helped you to become a better running back? I believe so. Now, what are some of the showcases and combines you've been to? So far, I've been to the the one-on-one -on -one in Orlando, and I'm going to one after spring football, the Under Armour Combine coming in Tampa. Now, are you going to come to our E7 event? When is this? Um, I believe it's in June or July. And it's going to be similar to the showcase in Orlando. Okay, I, I, I'll try, but I have a lot of football camps to go to. <laughs> so now, who is it that motivates you to be the best that you can be on the field? My Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Out of all the running backs in the county right now, who do you believe is your biggest competition? Um, the man right beside me, I would say. Jordan Rich Rogers, biggest competition. What about running backs like Matt Jones? I, I like his game, but I don't know. Just or Nelson Aguilar. They're, they're all great athletes, don't get me wrong, but I feel like in my heart that I'm a better running back. Okay. So now what is it that you've got to do on the field to show that you are a better running back than they are? i got to be more of a leader. I have to step up, and i just got to have that attitude this year, and I'm going to have it. So now, what are some of the schools that you look forward to visiting in the next couple of years? Um, my main one is LSU. <laughs> There's no doubt now about that. Now we're cutting the internet. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, and LSU. It's so, um, Tennessee, Miami, and Alabama. I like the way Alabama does what, they're, what they do with their running backs. So since you're saying you like the way Alabama runs their program around the running backs, is Mark Ingram possibly someone that you look forward to, you know, following in his footsteps? Uh, seeing as though he just got picked up in the draft. Yes, ma'am. But, but I, I, I've always been a big on uh, Richardson, big on Richardson more than Ingram, but yeah. Um, now, here's a question. You live in Florida. <laughs> so what makes you so interested in LSU? Um, I'm a rich, I was born in LSU, in Louisiana, and my uncle, Eddie Kennison, went to LSU, and I have a lot of family down there, so. Now, you know, you just a made a lot of enemies in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I did. Now, I have a lot. <laughs> now, if LSU gave you an offer, would you have to think twice about it? Um, it, it depends on what I'm going there for. If they don't give me an offer as a running back, hands down, I'm not going because I'm a running back at heart. So now if LSU offers you a football scholarship, but it's not for the running back position, 
but then Florida offers you a running back position scholarship. Would you take the Florida offer? If that's the best, the best one, best program I get, yes, ma'am. So now, who is it, you know, your coaches, your teammates, your family, who is it that supports you the most? My dad. My dad's the biggest supporter. I mean, football 24-7, nothing else on the mind. And he always tells me, football players are made in spring. And And they sure are. Your dad knows what he's talking about, so you better listen. Yes, ma'am. So now, what's the best piece of advice you've been given? Whether it's by your dad or by a coach or by teammates, former teammates, what's the best piece of advice that you've taken to heart and have, you know, stuck with? Don't change your attitude, no matter what. Keep the same attitude every year. Don't um, get in this slacking, I'm going to just maintain. Or you always want to be one step better. And that's one my dad told me, everybody tells me this, and I take it to heart that it's true. Now, what's the one piece of advice if you could give to the younger teammates following behind you, you know, such as Corey and some of the other teammates, what's the one piece of advice you could give them as a football player? Stay stay humble and play the game. Be smart with it. So now, besides becoming one of the best in the county and in the, um, in the state, what are some personal goals you have that you want to get accomplished with Tampa Catholic football in the next year? Um, so I, I want to go to states. That's huge also, especially at Tampa Catholic. I want to be Berkeley. I want to be Jesuit more than anything. And I really want to go to states. I want that ring. And so I really want so that. So now out of those three, which one ranks the highest? States. To me, states. So now you have two years to work I want at it. it. This year. <laughs> you want it this year. Yes, ma'am. Now with the new districts that are coming up, though, how is that going to affect the way you approach everything? Because I, you guys are actually playing in public schools now. Yes, ma'am. And I don't think it's going to affect us that much because we've been humble all off season. We've let all these schools talk mess to us and. We just sit back and we're going to wait for the other games to come. That's the best way to do it. Let them talk. Show up on the field. Yes, ma'am. Well, it was nice talking to you. Nice talking to you, too. All right.